So once I opened up my heart to all of this and just opened my mind to this whole experience, something else jumped inside my body and is just speaking through me. As I started to dive into it, everything started to click with me and my soul when I was doing the writing and I felt like I didn't write it. I felt like I was a vessel and someone was, a spirit was coming down. My ancestors was helping me write this music. A lot of these songs, when you're singing it, when you're in the studio by yourself, the lights are off, you're alone in a room and you're singing, there's definitely something with the ancestors, something with which we are tapping into. 90% of the time, I'm writing something and I have no idea where that even came from. There's been times when I was writing and I was singing songs and it doesn't sound like my voice and I'm kind of like tripping like. There's some emotions that I haven't consciously felt or consciously dealt with. Uh, that just come up and then come out. And I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't even know I felt like that. I didn't even know that that situation was for me. Next thing you know, I got addicted to writing this music because it was a spiritual cleanse for me on the journey of writing this music for forward back. From so. the one drop pushing me, from Bill Summers pushing me, from the ancestors looking down, looking at what we're doing. The writing process, honestly, is healing too. It's like a healing process for me. I, I'm just now learning the things that I'm telling you in the song. It's been um, something that I can't explain. It's more of a feeling, for sure. It just was all organic, nothing was forced. Everything was kind of kind of already set in motion and we just kind of jumped on for the ride. And I'm just letting it take control and just sitting back and <laughs> going for the ride. Blessings from my leg, I was lost, couldn't find my way home, couldn't find a way out. So I pray, cause Listen to it, dance to it, pray to it, I got it. I got it.